In an earlier module, we talked about how one of the reasons a distributed messaging platform is important is because sometimes a producer writes data in a format that cannot be read by a consumer. For instance, maybe the inventory database we mentioned above sends data in CSV format, but the machine learning model only reads in JSON format. The schema registry in Pulsar solves this issue by providing flexibility in how applications interact or share data. Pulsar offers two different approaches to uh, what's referred to as type safety. First, there's client side. In the client side approach, the producers and consumers are responsible for knowing the data types that are tr transmitted via each topic. And additionally, the producers and consumers are responsible for serializing and then deserializing messages. Serialization is a conversion of a data structure into a format that can be stored or transmitted and then reconstructed later through deserialization. This client side approach uh, severely limits the flow of data because it's putting the responsibility on the producers and consumers to know or anticipate the data types being transmitted. The other approach uh, in Pulsar is called server-side. The built-in schema registry in Pulsar enables clients to upload data schemas. These schemas instruct which data types are valid for a particular topic. And this can be done at the topic level. As of this recording in the uh, Q1 of 2021, the schema registry is only available for Java client C Go client, Python client, and C++ client. Uh, for an up-to-date list of the support schema registries, you can visit the address we have on the slide here in the Pulsar documentation. It's the concepts schema registry section. So Pulsar supports both approaches and the approaches can be chosen on a per topic basis. The schemas are stored in Bookkeeper out of the box and schemas can be automatically uploaded when a typed producer with a schema is created. Conversely, schemas can also be manually updated um, or uploaded using Pulsar's REST API. 